which is going to be in the eighth class because it is important to know about it. Then, uh, what is cellular respiration? The process by which uh, we'll be getting the energy by the breakdown of food. That is what the cellular respiration is, and it happens inside the cell. <clears throat> So during uh, the cellular respiration, the food will be broken down in the presence of oxygen and it gives us the carbon dioxide, water and energy. Yes, ma'am. So the anaerobic respiration. Uh, when we talk about the aerobic respiration, it happens in the presence of oxygen. So always in the presence of oxygen, it will be happening. Whereas in the... In aerobic case, it happens in the absence of oxygen or we can say in the lack of oxygen, it happens. <clears throat> there are certain differences between the aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen, whereas in aerobic takes place in the absence of oxygen. And then aerobic respiration completes oxidation of glucose takes place. So I'll explain you what you mean by complete oxidation of glucose. So in the statement, it was said like complete oxidation of food take place. Now, basically here we talk about the oxidation. Complete oxidation of glucose is, do you know the formula of glucose? What is the formula of glucose? Ma'am, I think C6H12O6. Yeah, C6H12 and O6. So this is the formula for the glucose. Now, in the statement, it was said that complete oxidation of glucose happens in the case of the aerobic respiration, which means this glucose will be completely broke down into any substance, for example, into any substances, but that substance will have only one atom of what? One atom of carbon. So here, in the case of the aerobic, it gets breakdown into the CO2. Now CO2 has how many number of carbon? One. one, right? One number of carbon is there. That is why we say it as complete oxidation. So in the case of the complete oxidation, what happened? Whatever the number of carbons are there, they will be completed. They will be uh, converted into a single number of carbon. Like I'll write some other equation now. C6H12O6, for example. Now this has been broken down into c 2 C2, why it is not right? C2H5OH. Now, do you think so? It is a complete oxidation now? No, no. Why? Why not? Ma'am, because there are two atoms of carbon. Correct. So, since there are two carbon atoms here, that is why this reaction is what? It is the incomplete oxidation reaction. So always keep in mind for the aerobic respiration, what happens? It will always, a glucose C6H12O6 will always be converted into CO2. So six number of carbon atoms were converted into one carbon atom. Whereas in the case of the anaerobic respiration, always the glucose will be broken down into C2H5OH. So here num two number of carbon atoms are present. So that is why the first one is the complete oxidation whereas the second one is the incomplete oxidation reaction. So that is a that is a meaning of the complete oxidation. So in the case of the anaerobic respiration, the glucose molecule is incompletely oxidized. It means it does not get converted completely. Third, the end products are CO2 and water. So we... We 
you know very well when we talk about the aerobic 6 H2O6 plus oxygen then it gives a CO2 plus H2 and energy so in this reaction what are the end products we are getting we are getting the CO2 we are getting the water and we are getting the energy so here are the CO2 and what are the end products whereas in the case of the anaerobic either we will be getting the ethyl alcohol or we will be getting the lactic acid and CO2. So, in the case of anaerobic, it happens in two ways. Either when complete absence of oxygen is there or when it is lack of oxygen. So, two ways are there for this. Either the oxygen is not available at all and the second one, if it is available, it is available in the less amount. In the absence of oxygen, it happens in the yeast cell. And in the lack of oxygen, it happens in our muscle cells. So yesterday we have given the example for this that if in case like we are sleeping on one position during the night time, then that side starts straining or starts aching. It is because the circulation of the oxygen does not happen and because of which the lactic acid will be formed. So in both the cases, what happened? They will be uh, forming this, uh, the glucose along with the in the case of the yeast there will not be any kind of oxygen so absence of oxygen is there what do they do they form the ethyl alcohol so ethyl alcohol formula is c2h5oh plus they will be forming the energy plus they will be forming the co2 so that is what we form we get it in the case of the anaerobic respiration in the case of the yeast Whereas in the second one, when we talk about during the deficiency or during the lack of oxygen, it happens in our muscle cell. And in that case, it will be converted into the lactic acid and the energy. So lactic acid and the energy will be formed. So do you have any idea what is the formula of the lactic acid? No. No? Varshid, do you have any idea for that, the formula of the lactic acid? No. Okay. So, uh, when we talk about the lactic acid, it has uh, all the four different uh, things attached to each other. So, we have the central carbon, hydrogen, OH, CH, C double O H. So this is the formula of the lactic acid. So in the center, what is there? The carbon is there. This carbon has the four bonds, like one first bond, second bond, third bond, fourth bond, right? And with all these bonds are connected four different kinds of the components. Of one, one side O H is there, the other side H, one side is C H, and the C double O H is connected there. So, that is the formula of the lactic acid. So, this we will be getting after the breakdown of the glucose in the muscle cell. And hence, it is said that the end products are either ethyl alcohol or the lactic acid and CO2. Where's fourth point, lot of energy is liberated. So, during the aerobic respiration, what happened? Uh, we will be getting more amount of energy. High amount of energy we'll be getting, which is almost like 38 at ATP of energy. What's the formula? Of A, uh, what is the full form of ATP? Area? No, adenosine triphosphate. Correct. So ATP full form is adenosine triphosphate. So, what we will be getting, we will uh, be getting the energy which will be stored in the form of the ATP. Like if we talk about money, money we are keeping in the form of the currency, like the notes we have 10 rupees, not 20 rupees, not 2000 rupees notes. So, that is like the way how we are keeping the money with us. Same way in our body also, we are storing the energy in the form of the ATP. So, energy currency of cell in our body is what it is the ATP it is in the form of ATP and where it gets stored it gets stored in the mito 
mitochondria so in the cell we have a part or the organelle called as a mitochondria so in this mitochondria so mitochondria will be somewhat like this so in this mitochondria what happen here the amount of the energy will be stored so whatever we eat it will get break down and from that we will be getting the energy and this energy will be stored in the mitochondria in the form of atp so in the case of the aerobic respiration the energy formation is high or the energy which is released is high so we will be getting the high amount of energy whereas in the case of the anaerobic respiration the energy which is going to form or which is form is less we do not get much energy and we do not actually uh, basically uh, we do not follow this anaerobic normally in our body we don't have the anaerobic anaerobic respiration happens only certain condition like in, whenever we are running whenever we are doing the heavy exercise or maybe we are sleeping on one side so during that time so not every time but yes certainly only few times we are doing this anaerobic respiration and while doing this process a very less amount of energy will be produced so in the case of the aerobic respiration 38 atp they will be producing whereas in the anaerobic they will be producing only 2 atp so only 2 atp will be generated in the case of the anaerobic respiration so point number 4 aerobic respiration lot of energy is liberated whereas in the anaerobic small energy is liberated which is 2 atp then aerobic respiration it occurs in the plants as well as in the animal cells whereas anaerobic it occurs in anaerobic bacteria and human muscle cell so basically uh, the bacteria which does not require the oxygen in them it will be happening it will be happening in the yeast as well and in our body it happens in the muscle cell so this a uh, this is a equation c6h12o6 plus 6o2 which gives 6co2 plus h2o plus energy then then anaerobic respiration c6h12o6 it gives the ethyl alcohol which is c2h5oh plus co2 and the energy so these are the few differences between the aerobic and the anaerobic respiration now there is a the next question why do muscle cramps arise after heavy exercise so as we have discussed yesterday also so what happens when uh, we are doing the heavy exercise during that time the cramps will be occurring in our body it is because instead of uh, following the aerobic respiration process due to deficiency of the oxygen our body starts following the anaerobic process so the cramps occurs when muscle cell respire anaerobically the partial breakdown of glucose produces lactic acid so since they are not able to form the energy or since they are not able to get the oxygen that is why what they are doing they are breaking down it into the lactic acid and the formation of the accumulation of lactic acid in the muscle causes the pain so when this lactic acid will be formed then it starts paining now the next one how do we breathe so we know that we get oxygen by breathing in air and we remove carbon dioxide from the body by breathing out and so this is what this is the inner inhalation and exhalation so if i talk about it includes inhalation and it includes the exhalation so both together these both processes together goes on simultaneously inhalation is basically the intake of the oxygen and the exhalation is basically the removal of the co2 so we get oxygen by breathing in air and we remove carbon dioxide from the body by breathing out breathing can be defined as a process in which organism take in the oxygen rich air present in the surrounding and release out air that contains high amount of carbon dioxide in it so uh, always we cannot keep you know uh, the co2 in our body because co2 is a kind of waste material for us it is not helpful in any ways for us so that is why we have to remove it out and it is done with the help of the breathing process all right children
यशवंत अनुभव योर वीडियोज आर ऑफ so any anything like you any doubt you have to ask about am i audible children yes ma'am you are okay so any any doubt you have to ask no ma'am okay so uh, what i'm going to do is <clears throat> just let me first of all upload it so you can now see under the homework part i have uploaded a file respiration in organism are you able to see yes ma'am yes, so there uh, you have a uh, questions related to the uh, foundation <clears throat> so right now you will be doing the level 1 question only so level 2 will be doing some other day so today you need to solve the questions which are with the level 1 i think you can see right level 1 and level 2 where it is given so level 1 question level level 1 has 30 questions in total to so start doing these uh, questions now so question number 1 question number till question number 30 you need to do of level 1 now and we will be discussing the answers and your video should be on only now it's uh, 13 month not 14 month yeah 30 30 right um but the date is it means uh i'm talking about today is i think respiration in organism in the homework under the homework you can see under the homework folder no my didn't get you can you say again up to which question uh, number when you go when you open the resources in the resources you have a one folder named as homework open that homework folder you will be getting a file there with the name respiration in organism seventh questions pdf right so open that you will be finding out the different levels level 1 you need to do it right now with the question number 1 2 okay ma'am and we'll be discussing the answers of all these 30 questions so these are your foundation related questions this you need to do it now and video should not get off children Mom, I didn't get the answers of the heat AR dot PDF. Okay, I'll send it. I'll send it then. Mom, the certain reason. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I'll send it. Okay. Okay.
मैम व्हाट इज इथेनॉल इथेनॉल इज बेसिकली और इथाइल अल्कोहल ओके द अदर नेम ऑफ द इथाइल अल्कोहल इज इथेनॉल व्हिच इज सी सी C2C C2H5OH द फार्मूला ऑफ इथेनॉल और इथाइल अल्कोहल ओके यस वर्षित मैम इन क्वेश्चन एट दैट द प्रोसेस ऑफ इनहलेशन एंड एक्सलेशन इज ब्रीथिंग एंड द मेन और मेन ऑर्गन ऑफ ह्यूमन रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम इज लंग्स ना मैम 
but the both are not in the same option no no, no. <clears throat> let me let me let me go through first of all they have given uh, you need to match column 1 with the column 2 yes ma'am so in this process of inhalation and exhalation no it is correct it is given correct uh, varshit uh, see what happens here column 1 will have the d option right a b c d column 2 also have four option now you have yes. to select it like process of inhalation and exhalation is called as breathing yes, so you have to see the down where it matches so a matches with the second one now talking you are saying the c part main organs of the human respiratory system main organ it is right then c is matching with the fourth one yes ma'am so the answer will be what the answer will be the b yes ma'am the matching okay. you need to do on the basis of the statement okay ma'am Now we should do all the thirty questions and then discuss. Or... Yes, yes, yes. All the thirty questions and then we will be discussing.
विच क्वेश्चन नंबर यशवर हरियप हरियप चिल्ड्रेन वर्षित विच क्वेश्चन नंबर यू ऑल हैव डन टिल क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन यस मैम ओके सो लेट अस डिस्कस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ये क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन देन इन दैट केस राइट सो विल स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द फर्स्ट वन डैश रेस्पिरेशन अकर्स इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन दिस प्रोसेस द फूड इज कंप्लीटली ऑक्सीडाइज्ड इनटू डैश एंड वाटर सो व्हाट इज द आंसर वर्षित मैम आई थिंक ए करेक्ट इट इज ए ओनली so in the case of the aerobic respiration it happens in the presence of oxygen and the food will be completely converted into the carbon dioxide and water now coming to the question number 2 anubhu kindly read it and give the answer yes ma'am ma'am in question number 2 it is written in human beings muscle cramps occur after heavy exercise it is because ma'am i have written the option a correct the option is correct which is like partial breakdown of glucose okay. produces the lactic acid <clears throat> okay yashwan go for the question number 3 okay breathing involves respiration inhaling wait yeah inhaling and expiration uh, exhaling process during inspire wait inspiration ribs move Ma'am, I think the answer is D. Ah, uh, which question number? We have a third. Breathing involves inspiration, which is inhalation, and expiration, which is exhalation process. During mm-hmm. inspiration, or which is so basically, inspiration is a inhalation only. So during the inhalation, the ribs will move upward <clears throat> and the outward. The answer is D. So when you breathe, what happens? Your ribs will come up, and it goes out. Yes, right. Sir. The answer is D. Okay. Ah, uh, Varshit, question number four. Given figure illustrate the internal structure of lungs. The exchange of gases takes place at which labial structure? Yeah. Ma'am, I wrote D. Yeah. The ah, D is the correct answer. So I'll just tell you which are the parts there. The first part is basically the trachea part. the second part is the bronchi part the third part are the uh, bronchioles and the fourth part is the alveoli and the alveoli are the places where the exchange of gases will be happening so the correct answer is d now uh, question number 5 yes anubhav when a person breathes in what happens to the diaphragm and to the ribs ma'am i have written d, d. option d so in this case when a person breathes what happens to the diaphragm and to the rib so when he breathes in so they are talking about the inhalation so during that time the diaphragm will become curved the ribs will be move out to outward and the upward so the correct answer is d only on above <clears throat> question number 6 yashwant which of the following statements 6 6 oh that was 7 okay accumulation of of which acid causes muscular cramps sir ma'am it's c correct correct yashwan the answer is c which is lactic acid okay varshit question number 7 which of the following statements is correct a inhalation air contains more oxygen than the of exhalation air B exhalation air contains more oxygen than that of inhalation air. Inhaled air, inhaled air contains equal amount of carbon dioxide and oxygen. D exhale, exhaled air contains equal amount of carbon dioxide and oxygen. Ma'am, the correct answer is A. Correct. The correct answer is A. So, uh, the inhaled air will contain more amount of oxygen than the exhaled air. Now coming to the question number eight. Already, I think we have discussed this question number eight. So the correct answer for the question number eight is B. So process of inhalation and exhalation is called as a breathing. Process of conversion of carbohydrate into alcohol and CO two is called as fermentation. Main organ of the human respiratory system is the lung, and the plant respiration is through the stomata. So the answer is the eight. 
Now question number nine, uh, Anubhav. Yes, ma'am. Fitness training increases the concentration of lactic acid that athletes can tolerate in their muscles. What is the consequence of this increase? Ma'am, I have written option B. Uh, fitness training increases the concentration of lactic acid. Yeah. Yeah, so the correct answer is B only because what happens, the blood flow will be increased in the muscles and because of this, they will feel more energetic and more powerful. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Shubhant, question number 10. Okay. Which of the following options contain the correct um, equation, equation, equation of aerobic respiration? respiration? Ma'am, would it be um, A? No. Uh, as just now we have discussed what happened in the case of the aerobic respiration, the complete oxidation will be there, right? So uh, where you can find the complete oxidation, where the number of uh, carbon is only one after the reaction? Yes, Ma'am? Where the number of carbon is only one after the reaction? Ma'am, would it be, the, like the answer, could it be uh, B? Yes, it is B. So C6H12O6 plus oxygen, it's O2. It gives you the 6CO2 plus 6H2 and energy. All right. Okay, now do the remaining 11 to 20, then we will be discussing them. Ma'am, what is thoracic cavity? Thoracic cavity basically uh, is a kind of, you know, rib cage. So inside the rib cage, our lungs are present, right? 
so those ling- lungs are basically present in a cavity called as a thoracic cavity okay ma'am मैं मनोवर्ब डन मैम ओके अनुभव ओके यशवंत पिछ क्वेश्चन नंबर Till question number 20 or full? Till question number 20 right now. Okay ma'am, completed. we should start with question number 11 okay ma'am select the correct statement out of the following one breath consists of one inhalation and one exhalation breathing rate increases during sleep breathing rate decreases during sleep number of heartbeats per minute 
is called as breathing rate. Ma'am, I wrote T. The correct statement out of, out of the following. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Anubha, what do you feel? What is the correct answer according to you? Ma'am, I have written also D. Okay, Yashwant, what do you have written? D. Don't you think it is A? Ma'am, I think that both options A and D are uh, correct. Ma'am, first I was thinking D. See, there is a difference between the heart rate and a breathing rate. They have given clearly, they are talking about the heartbeat. Not about the breathing rate. Breathing rate, how do you check it? You check it with the help of the pulse rate, right? Okay, ma'am. So, this is D. Statement is wrong. Okay, uh, now, Anubha, go for question number 12. Yes, ma'am. In the question number 12, breathing rate per minute in humans uh, during heavy exercise can become, ma'am, I have written option A, 20 to 25 times. Correct, it is A. Yes, one question number 13. Uh, select the correct statement out of the following. Ma'am, I choose A. It is all of these. Okay, all the statements which are given are correct. So, guard cell will be helping in opening and closing. Stomata will be helping in the gas exchange and loss of water will be there through the stomata only. Okay. What's the question number 14? Given figure represents ma'am, I choose A. Hmm. It is A that uh, tracheal respiration is happening in the insect. So basically in the insect, what is there? The trachea will be there which helps in the respiration process. And about question number 15? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Uh, what are the products of aerobic respirations? Ma'am, I have written option C, CO2 plus H2O. Correct. It is C, CO2 plus H2O. Okay, Ashwin, question number 16. What is the product of antibiotic uh, respiratory in yeast? Ma'am, I wrote A, alcohol. No, it is alcohol and the carbon dioxide. Both are both will be formed. Okay. Okay. Question number seventeen, Varshit. Breathing is a dash process and respiration is a dash process. Hmm. I choose B, ma'am. B, before boy. Yes, ma'am. Before boy. Correct. It is B. Breathing is a physical process, whereas the respiration is a biochemical process. Question number eighteen, Anubhav. Yes, ma'am. Which of the following organs serves as the common passage for both food and uh, food and ear, ma'am? Option A, pharynx. Correct. So, uh, the pharynx is acting as a common passage for both, for passing the food as well as for passing the air. Yashwan, question number nineteen. Um, during respiratory, uh, plants release. H2O and takes in um, carbon dioxide, A. During respiration, the plants will be releasing. From A. So, uh, they are saying during the respiration, the plants, what do they will be doing? They will be releasing the oxygen and they will be taking the CO2. Yes, Is it correct, okay. Varshit and Anubhav? No, ma'am. No, it is not correct, Yashwan. They have said in the respiration. So, in the photosynthesis, they will be taking in the CO2. But during the respiration, they will be taking the, which gas? O2 gas. Mm. And they will be releasing the CO2. So, the correct answer is the C. Okay. Last no, one, Vashit. Yeah. Vashit, last one, 20th. Which of these is not true about cellular respiration? May I choose D? Uh, it is B. See, the reason it is B, it occurs only during daytime. So, in us also, it has, respiration is happening, right? We are also respiring. So, day also we are respiring. The night time also we are respiring. So, this, this statement is not correct. So, it occurs during the daytime also. It occurs during the nighttime also. And uh, 
in most of the plants and animals it occurs so that is why the last option is correct so the correct answer for this question is the b1